Dear learners, welcome to the chapter on information technology architecture. This session will focus on data resource management with the deliberations on what is data resource management, business use of DRM technologies, types of databases, various database models, Let us understand, what is data resource management? Data resource management is a managerial activity, that apply information system technologies like, database, data warehouse, data mining, and other data management tools, for managing organizations' data resources, to meet the information needs, of their business stakeholders. It deals with managerial implications of, using data resource management technologies and methods to manage an organization's data assets to meet business information requirement. Data resources have the characteristics of heterogeneity and differentiation. With the demand and the development of the scale of application systems, data resources must be constantly enriched and expanded. The traditional data resource management model has been unable to meet users' requirements about flexibility, timeliness, and expansion, in data resource management. This has led to major bottlenecks in system applications, resulting in increase in cost, and lower efficiency. For fulfilling the just-in-time, and on-demand output, the flexible management and customization of data resources, is required using information systems. This will enable efficient management of data resources, and providing transparent, flexible data resource for enterprise applications. Why organizations must have DRM Within an organization, a direction is needed that focuses on managing data as a critical resource of the organization to directly support its business activities. The data resource must be managed with the same intensity and formality as other critical resources are managed. Organizations must emphasize the information aspect of information technology, determine the data needed to support the business, and then use appropriate technology to build and maintain a high-quality data resource that provides the support. In other words, organizations must manage data as a resource, rather than simply administering the data. A proper DRM will help the organizations to manage the following. First, business information demand. Disparate data cause a dilemma for most organizations. The sooner organizations make a conscious effort to alter the natural drift away from disparity, the easier it will be to achieve a high-quality data resource that supports the business information. Demand. The surprising thing is that most stakeholders will not object to formal data resource management. They really want a higher quality data resource, are enthused about improving data resource quality, and want to share data. Second, data resource quality. A high quality data resource can only be achieved by developing a comparative data resource where the data are like in kind, quality, and character, and are without defect. The data resources should be concordant, homogeneous, nearly flawless, nearly perfect, and have high quality data. The data shall be easily identified and thoroughly understood, readily accessed, shared, and utilized to the fullest potential. Third, manage common data architecture. The common data architecture is a formal, comprehensive data architecture that provides a common context within which all data at an organization's disposal are understood and integrated. The common data architecture contains concepts principles, and techniques, for developing and maintaining formal data names, comprehensive data definitions, proper data structures, precise data integrity rules, and robust data documentation. Let us now understand intricacies of a database. 
A database is an integrated collection of logically related data elements. It consolidates records previously stored into separate files, into a common pool of data elements, that provides data for many applications. The data, stored in a database, are independent of the application programs using them, and the type of storage devices, on which they are stored. Thus, a database contains the data elements describing the entities, and relationships among the entities. Let us now understand the types of databases. Development in information technology and its business application have resulted in the evolution of several major types of databases. The major conceptual categories of databases, as given, may be found in many organizations. First, operational database. It stores data needed to support the business process and operation of a company. They are also known as subject database, transaction database, and production databases. Examples are customer database, human resource database, inventory database, and other database containing data generated by business operations. Second, distributed database. Many organization replicate and distribute database copies or parts of databases to network server at a variety of sites. The distributed database resides on network servers on World Wide Web, corporate intranets and extranets, or on any company network. The primary aim of distributed database is protection of data, and meet the storage requirements. The primary challenge is to maintain data accuracy and integrity. The updating of data in distributed system can be done in two ways. Replication, and, duplication. Third, external database. Access to information from external databases, is available from commercial online services, from many sources on the World Wide Web. Websites provides, an endless variety of hyperlinked pages of multimedia documents, in hypermedia database to access. One can view, or download abstract or complete copies of hundreds of newspapers, magazines, newsletters, research papers, and other published material. Using Google and other search engine is an example for use of external database. Fourth, hypermedia databases. A website stores information in hypermedia database, consisting of hyperlinked pages of multimedia. From data management point of view, the set of interconnected multimedia pages on the website is a database of interrelated hypermedia page elements, rather than interrelated data records. The web server software acts as a database management system to manage the transfer of hypermedia files for downloading by the multimedia plugin of web browser. Let's get apprised with the structure and models of the database. Based on the structure, various database models are given here. Traditional file system. File-based systems were an early attempt to computerize the manual filing system. File-based system is a collection of application programs that perform services for the end users, such as updating, insertion, deletion, adding new files to database, and so on. Each program defines and manages its data. When a computer user wants to store data electronically, they must do so by placing data in files. Files are stored in specific locations on the hard disk, directories. The user can create new files to place data in, delete a file that contains data, rename the file, etc., which is known as file management, a function provided by the operating system. Hierarchical model. It is one of the oldest method for organizing and storing data, and is still used by some organization. It is organized in a pyramid fashion like the branches of tree extending downwards. It has a parent-child relationship, where a parent node can have more than one child. They can be accessed and updated rapidly. They are so rigid that adding a new field or record, requires that the entire database be redefined. The structure supports one is to one, and one is to many relationship among the nodes. It cannot have many is to many relationship among its nodes. Network model. It represents complex logical relationship, and allows many-to-many -many relationship among its nodes. It is more like graph than a tree in structure. 
A network model consists of collection of records, which are interrelated to each other with the help of relationship. Child nodes can have multiple parent nodes, and parents can have multiple child nodes. The structure thus supports one is to one, one is to many, and many is to many relationship through its nodes. Object-oriented model Object-oriented programming paradigm was applied to database technology, creating a new database model known as object database. It is considered as one of the key technologies of a new generation of multimedia web-based application. Object consists of data values describing the attributes of entity, and the operation that can be performed upon the data. Object-oriented database can be used to store data, from a variety of media sources, such as photographs and text, and produce work, as output in multimedia formats. It uses small reusable chunk of software called objects. The object consists of two elements. 1. A piece of data, sound, text, graphic, and 2. Instruction or software program called methods, for what to do with the data and the object. It is costly to develop, but, the ability to mix and match reusable objects, provides incredible multimedia capability. Relational Model Relational Data Model is the primary data model which is used widely around the world for data storage and processing. This model is simple, and it has all the properties and capabilities required to process data with storage efficiency. In relational data model, data is stored in tables which are called relations. This format stores the relation among entities. A table has rows and columns, where rows represents records, and columns represent the attributes. A single row of a table which contains a single record for that relation, is called a tuple. Organizations must understand that database is the prime repository, and must be designed with caution. Dear learners, this brings us to the end of our discussion on the current topic. Thank you for following the content. Best wishes for all your endeavors.